Hi there and welcome back to another session here with Viscan DFE. In today's video, we're going to be looking at fractions as division. Yeah? So, what does this remind you of? This is called a division symbol. Alright? But what if I replace these dots with numbers? Huh? Huh? What does it remind you of now? It's a fraction. Oh yeah. So, if I take these dots of the division symbol and I replace them with numbers, then it's just a fraction. So fractions actually mean that we are busy dividing, we are sharing. And so just like there are different types of fractions, we will have different division sums when we solve these fractions. Let's look at the different types of fractions and how these actually become division sums and what we will do when we go about solving these sums. Let's get into it. Alright, so as mentioned, when we look at division, we are going to look at division as sharing, right? So the number at the bottom, the denominator, tells you in how many groups you're going to share it into. Now, normally when we looked at fractions, fractions we spoke about the denominator telling us in how many equal parts we will cut the whole right now this is similar when it comes to division i'm going to show you how this works when it comes to the different types of fractions right now we know there are three different types of fractions you get a proper fraction a whole fraction and an improper fraction now with proper fractions your answer will be less than a whole And with the whole, of course, your answer will be equal to a whole. And with improper fractions, your answer will be more than a whole. Okay, now normally when we drew diagrams of proper fractions you always drew one hole and then cut it into the amount of parts that the denominator says so let's look at how we would usually draw proper fractions so i'm going to use the fraction three over five remember the denominator tells you how many equal parts you will cut your hole so this is my hole and i will cut it into five equal parts and then I will shade three. So it's one, two, three. And this will be my three fifths, which is also equal to three divided by five. But now when we come to division, you might have a sum in division that then says you have, for example, three chocolates and you want to share it between five friends. So I will draw the three chocolates and because I'm sharing it between five friends, I will cut each chocolate into five pieces and each one will then get a piece of each chocolate. So I will divide this one into fifths, this one into fifths, this one into fifths. And each one will get one fifth for you, plus another fifth for you, plus another fifth for you. So you will still get three fifths. Do you notice how these diagrams look different, but the answer is the same? So the piece that you get is still three fifths it's still the same but a lot of times when it comes to division you might have to draw a diagram that looks like this or a diagram that looks like this depending on the question either way we do know that when your sum is a proper fraction your answer will be less than a whole right what does it mean then if your answer is equal to a whole so again when it comes to division we are sharing right so let's say for example i have 
two chocolates and I'm sharing it between two friends. So there's my two friends and I have two chocolates. So it's one for you and one for you. Do you notice how each one gets one? Or let's say I have three friends and I have three chocolates. So one for you, one for you and one for you. Each one gets one. So my answer will always be one. In other words, this means there's always enough, just enough for everybody in the group. So here we have two divided by two. Each one gets one. And here we have three divided by three. And each one gets one. So this is what happens when your answer is equal to a whole. Now we will look at improper fractions. Remember, this is when your answer will be more than a whole. In other words, your number on top, which is the amount that you have, will be more than the number in which you are sharing it into or dividing it into. For example, if I have 10 sweets and I'm sharing it between two people, here's my two people and I have 10 sweets. So I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each one will get one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So is five more than a whole? Yes, it is. It's more than one. So you get more than one. So this is when your answer is more than a whole. It means it's a improper fraction when the total that you have is more than the groups that you have to divide it into so let's look at 15 divided by 5 again the amount that i have is more than the groups in which i'm going to share it into 5 10 15 that means my answer is 3 so each one will get 3 if you had to divide it into groups of 5 again 3 is more than a whole, it's more than one. So you're getting more than one. Okay, I hope you found this lesson on fractions as division interesting. Now, as I've mentioned, there are different types of fractions, but normally when you are doing a division sum, you only get one type, or most of the time, it will be an improper fraction. In other words, your numerator on top will be bigger than your denominator. Now, this is the part where we look at the different methods of doing division sums. So, in my next video, we're going to be looking at methods of solving division sums. And if you would like to know how to master that, you need to continue watching. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe to my channel so that you know when I post the next video. Alright, have a lovely day.